That is a battle flag, and the men carrying it have brought an array of lovely ladies and murderous-looking weapons from sunny Italy to suburban Liverpool. Crossbowmen from the banks of the Tiber, here on a goodwill visit, have challenged an English team to an old-style shooting match. These Englishmen from Mansfield, near Sherwood Forest, have forsaken Robin Hood's longbow for their own modern version of the one used by William Tell. They're not what you could call sharpshooters, but they'll certainly slice an apple in half at a range of a hundred yards once they're wound up. The English make their own bows for about 25 pounds a piece, and the Italians make their own chainmail armor with special lightweight silver thread. And they're all set for their game of medieval darts. Well, they didn't get off with a double top, but it's nice shooting. At home, they hold annual contests, which are reckoned to be the most attractive costume show in the whole of Italy. It's a skillful business. Changes in temperature and humidity alter the flight of the boat, as their arrows are called. How they keep score, when both bows and targets are so different, no one knows. But this meeting's more of a goodwill get-together than an international match. Now, what's that? A crossbow or a blunderbuss? Rifle sights and bolts have given the English bows a new streamlined look. There are half a dozen crossbow teams in Britain, and the sport's getting ever more popular. The target's half the size of the ones used for longbow shooting, but now they're ruining the whole effect using a newfangled implement like modern pliers to retrieve their time-honored boats. The 14th century bowmen would turn in their legendary tombs.